Speaking of moralities and values and hypocrisy, Alabama governor, uh, the Alabama governor, governor Robert Bentley has resigned as governor and has pled guilty um, to two charges of campaign violations, campaign contribution violations. This is all connected to Pat, his um, affair, his alleged affair with his former aide, Rebecca Mason. Um, so according to his plea deal, he would have to resign immediately and leave public law. Life, uh, plead guilty to two campaign violations, converting uh, campaign contributions for personal gain and failing to report campaign contributions. Um, he would have to serve one year probation, uh, perform 100 hours of unpaid community service and repay the almost nine thousand uh, dollars in campaign aid, uh, funds that he spent for the legal fees of his alleged mistress, Rebecca Mason. Finally, he'd have to forfeit all the money in his campaign account, which is about $36,000, almost $37,000. This is being reported by John Archibald of Alabama.com. He goes into some great reporting here, but the hypocrisy uh, and this, the scale of this is, is staggering when you consider the positions on traditional family values that Republicans always forward. Right, and the sex scandal is one thing. Obviously, it's hypocritical, but I don't think that alone should cost him his job. It's certainly going to uh, have a negative effect on his marriage, and he's also mm -hmm. a deacon in a Baptist church, so I'm sure <laughs> yeah. that's not going to play very well. Mm -hmm. The misuse of campaign funds, I think, is a, a much worse crime there. Yeah, no, obviously, and, and that's actually where uh, articles of impeachment were being drawn by the House Judiciary Committee on this past week. Uh, I mean, it's been moving and progressing in its direction where he was going to be impeached if he didn't step down. And also the charges for campaign um, uh, infractions, campaign finance infractions, were based on two charges that could have been felonies. So he actually really could have spent some significant amount of time in, off, in jail had he not resigned. So you're right, uh, the sexual scandal, notwithstanding the hypocrisy, um, it, it really should not be enough to scuttle him, uh, but his campaign finance violations actually led to his arrest. He surrendered himself, and here is a mugshot um, for posterity's sake, uh, Robert, uh, uh, Robert Julian Bentley, former governor of Alabama, um, stepping down in disgrace. Yeah, and this is conservative hypocrisy 101. It's always the politicians who are most vehemently anti-gay that turn out to be gay themselves. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's the conservatives who are uh, family values types who yeah. turn out to be having affairs and skeletons in their closet. Yeah, and we see this all the time. It's not surprising, uh, but it is um, it, it is newsworthy because you have a governor actually being held accountable for his violations, albeit not the full extent of his violations. He's only going to probably serve one year probation, um, but at least he's no longer in office uh, as a result of his campaign finance um, violations.